Now, the government says it is ready to roll out the social health insurance from the 1st of October, even as it faces the challenge of numbers that have registered so far. Well, so far, only 1.2 million Kenyans have registered, and the Council of Governors Health Committee Chairperson Mudomin Juki has called for innovative ways in social health insurance registration, saying the use of community health promoters is not enough in registering over 44 million Kenyans who are still not in the social health authority bracket. The transitional process to the new social health authority regime has already kicked off in earnest, with the operations now slated to officially begin on October 1st. The scheme replaces the 66-year-old National Health Insurance Fund. In an engagement with the media on the rollout expected in the next 12 days, the Ministry of Health claims that so far only 1.2 million Kenyans had registered, but were optimistic that the numbers would rise before the official rollout. Council of Governors Health Committee Chairperson Mudominjuki says the use of community health promoters is not enough in registering over 44 million Kenyans still not in the bracket. Our people are very difficult, my friend. Go out there and say I have a meeting tomorrow to register SHA. No one will come. But tell them I have a meeting where I'm giving some goodies from the government. They will be there, all of them. Uh, well, goodies cannot be sweet. I mean, to understand that. So we, we need resources, deliberate, to be able to make people come together and register within the shortest time possible. But even as the ministry says it is ready to roll out the program, the danger of an impending court case challenging implementation hangs on their neck with the ruling expected this Friday, 20th September. If the court gives a negative verdict, we still have 120 days and we shall engage the leadership of parliament for us to reenact the laws within the period that they had been given, the 120 days. Health Cabinet Secretary Dr. Deborah Barasa says the new program seeks not only address gaps that exist under NHIF, but also provide enhanced services to all Kenyans, irrespective of their economic status. We will continue monitoring the share rollout. We will continue improving the system. We will address the funding gaps and enhance digitization efforts to improve healthcare delivery. It is the first time that we have a social health authority that is designed to take care even of the non-payroll people. So if we achieve this, then we will be able to take care of all these uh, WhatsApp group harabees which are very irritating to all of us. County governments have also called on the national government to critically rethink health financing, cautioning that delays in disbursement of funds as seen under NHIF would cripple an otherwise well-thought-out plan. Rosongwe, NTV.